There we go. <laughs> yeah, progress. <laughs> I don't know my left from my right. <laughs> Welcome to Late to the Game. I'm Carl. I'm Chris Ham. Chris Ham needs to get closer to his microphone. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm wrong. That's better. That, get intimate. Oh, what the fuck are you? I don't know. It was that like a floating armature? I think it was an armadillo. Okay. Oh, God. Cool. Does that thing fall? Step on it. Step on yep. it. Oh, it yep. flips. That's fucked up. That is a fucking death trap. Good job, quick reflexes of Chris Ham. Oh, thank you so much. Um, alright. Oh, can I do the moonwalk? Yeah. Ooh. Cool. Right. On with the gameplay. Oh, bro. my God. <laughs> Do you think anybody's watching us for, like, skilled gameplay? Uh, they watch Sonic for that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Fair enough. But, but that's about it. You like, know what we should really do again? One of our most... Oh, what? How did you even just die? I don't have any idea. Something... Did I run out of time? Oh, my God. I ran out of time. <laughs> I didn't know that was a thing. <laughs> my bad. My beast. Anyway, uh, one of our most... Po Finny the Fish, just because, like, there's no other channel I don't think that's ever done that. So when people search for it, like, the few people that search for it, which was uh, quite a few, apparently, like, we were literally, like, the top result of YouTube. Like, if you search Finny the Fish in the Seven Waters, we are, like, the second or maybe even first result that pops up. You had so much fun with that game. I really actually I enjoyed it. Like, was we should. bored out of my mind watching you play it. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, if you wanna if you wanna revisit it, I'm down. Wait, is that a Pokemon? It looks like a Pokemon, dude. Yeah, it kinda does. Look at this. Look at this looks... fucking trap that they set. They're like, yeah, it drops right on that and then you die. Nope, it didn't do it that time. Oh, but that did. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> what is that tentacle beast? He's it's just like a weird seaweed monster. Fuck off. Fucking deuce of heads. Where did it come from? It was just laying on the ceiling. Laying on the ceiling. <laughs> that's how you. That's how things work. Yep. Turkey. Mm. Big old turkey leg. When was the last time you had a big smoked turkey leg like that? Last year, in about May. Yeah. Where at? Uh, Wildflower Festival. What is that? It's Richardson. I invited to you to it this year. It's like a like oh, a yeah. three or four day uh, festival that Richardson puts on every year. And it's called Wild. Flower. Flower. Okay, I thought you said fire. I was like, that sounds like a dangerous festival. No, <laughs> it's not some Game of Thrones, like, <laughs> let's fucking fuck shit up. No, it's a music festival. Like, this past year, they, they had Good Charlotte, but they canceled. What? The year before, they had Jimmy Eat World. I went and saw them. Whoa, really? Yeah. In Richardson? Yeah, in Richardson. Huh. Yeah, they set up. <gasps> oh, God. Oh, shit, it's boss time. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. No. Get him! Get him! I'm trying, bro. <laughs> okay, look. I'll do this, and I'll just whip this bitch around, and then... Bow! Bow! Yeah, gotcha. Okay, and now he's a oh, skelly man. Oh, shit, and he's fast as fuck. Literally the no, last he's place... A, he's a jumping boy. Okay, cool. Okay, that's not so bad. Yeah, dude, you... Oh, he oh. came back. Cool. <laughs> okay, got Dude, him. that's badass. Yeah, that, that is was fun. fucking badass looking. Maybe I've never played this game. <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> any of this. I was like, I swear, like, one of my friends had it or something, but I might be thinking of a different one. Dude, that was awesome. You just waylaid that dude. Yeah. The only time you died was because of time. <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> Which is the ultimate killer yeah. of men. <laughs> and women. And women. And just people. Yeah, in general. Yeah. And animals. Okay, so think about this. Oh, if, I did the thing again. Keep talking. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, like if 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 the the polar caps melt and everybody dies, the Earth's still gonna be here, right? I mean, I think we should make a bomb <gasps> to where like if the people of Earth die, we'll hold the <laughs> blows up the rest <laughs> of the planet. <laughs> that way, we'll hold the the Earth responsible. <laughs> Oh my god, that's such a weird... <laughs> what is that? Is that a leaf? No, I think it's a hand. It's a no, purple. not the purple hand. I see that. Oh, the, the dude. The yeah, it was, like an, it's, it was like a leaf wind monster. There's so many different fucking enemies in this game. It's really cool. That's a spider. Just for anybody that was kind of scratching their head over it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. 
Mr. Skinny Legs. Dude. Mr. Skinny Legs. Mr. Skinny Legs. Okay, so for the viewer, my, my daughter's obsessed with Peppa Pig, and so... I'm so sorry. No, it's actually... If you watch the show, like, it's actually a really bearable children's show that... Really? You don't mind having on. Yeah. Okay. Right. It's actually super adorable. And uh, they call swimming suits swimming costumes because it's, like, British. So we've adopted that in our household. That's really cute, actually. <laughs> yeah. Swimming, swimming costumes. costumes. And uh, when Miss Texas came through... Oh, by the way, the whole Miss USA, Miss Texas, they did away with swimsuit. Oh, good. Oh, good? Yes. You know what happened because as a result of that? Uh, it stopped being as popular? Yes. Yeah. Because fucking beauty pageants are stupid. They are. They're fucking straight up stupid. But, like, yeah, having a swimsuit, I don't know. Like, the whole thing is just so fucking sexist. I don't disagree that they're stupid, but it is a good source of income for me. So anybody that <laughs> listens to this right now. <laughs> Support your local beauty pageants. Yes. Carl's got a daughter. Yes. Um, shit, I hope that doesn't come to bite me in the ass later. <laughs> Why? Oh, nothing. Okay. It's just kind of like what you you prefaced us re-igniting re, uh, the show. It's just kind of like, okay, we both have jobs now where like, you know, there's some shit that you could say that... Oh, I <laughs> see. I see what you're saying, yeah. That you, like, what? Come on. A, it's not your job to like the events that you do well i do for. that's like my favorite show every year oh, and wow. the reason the reason is is because of the <laughs> sexist piece of shit no, no I'm just it's it's the production value of it you yeah. know it's the the fast moving um the um the producer of the show it's mm -hmm. so much fun to work with that dude it's just a it's an event is what it is i get to work an event and it feels good yeah no, when I did events, there were lots of things that we did that I fucking loved. Like, it was, like, hard work, but I was like, man, this is fucking cool to be a part of. So, yeah, no, I totally get that. That's awesome. I just think, in general, beauty pageants are just dumb. They're just so old-fashioned and outdated. They they are. Yeah. I mean, it's, um... It's like, okay, great, like, you're, like... I don't know. <sighs> There's just something about a competition of not any form of, like, it's not like an athletic competition or, like, you're doing, like, some kind of, like, brain challenges or something. There, it's a popularity contest. Yeah, it's, it is. It, there's not a whole lot of, like, merit. It's like, who's just the best overall person out of this group of people? That just feels weird and gross. Well, I do have to say this in, in defense of, of what you're saying, uh -huh. is that for the entire year that Miss Texas is Miss Texas, it's not like she's just sitting on a couch eating ice cream oh, and no, chicken no. wings. Like, no. She's out like yeah, actively they... like doing stuff that's good for the community. A hundred percent. And they have their platforms, you know, like some of them are for, you know, um, kids with Down syndrome, some of them are for um, all sorts of things. Like yeah. they, they've got their platforms that they yeah, they, they have things that they care about that when they win, they get to use that opportunity to do some good, to, to have contribute. some influence. Yeah, no, I, a hundred percent, like, that's awesome. I met Miss Texas 20, I don't know, 10, maybe, somewhere oh. around there. Okay. Um, and she was very nice, and yeah, she was doing some kind of charity something or other event. Uh, I don't even remember what it was for, but I think it was like diabetes or something. I don't know. But um, yeah, like that's cool that that happens. But she had to look really good in a bikini in order to get to do that. You know what I mean? Well, yeah, and see, it's, it's <laughs> changed. It's just, that's the, the thing. Yeah, like, the... Like, uh, mm. The, okay. the, the uh, judging system changed drastically because of that, because that was like a part of your score. It was like a percentage. Yeah. And now talent, interestingly enough, talent is 50% of the girls' scores now. See, okay, cool. So, I mean, there's pluses to it. I mean, it's it makes it less misogynistic. We'll put it that way. Yeah. And it doesn't parade the girls around in a um, sexualized manner. Right. Anymore. Well, um, you know what? then fine cool all for it like that's literally pretty much the only problem that was 
with it. It was that they were basically just being judged on like who's the most fuckable. Well, the interview, that was a huge part of their like the, the competition. The the other plus side too is with the with the the format change is that they rely more on is that gold or was that health or was no that? no no it was a, a special weapon and it dropped in the mud so oh, I bummer. No, it's fine. I got a throwing axe. It's awesome. Um, but uh, the new format change, you see a lot more of the interview process, which mm-hmm. I think had a lot to do with their score previously as well. Right. And you never saw that. It was always just kind of like, okay, swimsuit, they're walking the runway, cool. You know, nightgown, they're walking the runway, cool. Mm-hmm. Talent, they're doing their talents, cool. All right. And then that's what you saw as like a, um, you know, what's a patron, okay? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But now uh, they've included more of the the Q and A, and the judges are interacting more too. It's have it's neat. Like the the one new hit point now. Yeah, I gotta be real careful. Everybody, shut up! <laughs> 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 Quiet, just talk, gotta concentrate here. <laughs> Hang on, maybe there's wait no. Yeah, boom. Oh, okay, cool. Fuck yeah! All right, everybody, light yeah, armor resume. down. Yeah, resume. Yeah, it's fine. Talk amongst yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> but no, that's cool. And you know what? It's not even like I'm not like anti fucking sex. You know that. Like I'm the incredibly sex positive person. It's just it. F- oh fuck me! Damn, that was a river of bile. Ew. Um, it just felt weird to be like competing against it. Like I don't have a problem with like models becoming models because they're super gorgeous and that that's what the business is. But they're not competing. I guess they are competing against each other. Fuck, man. Maybe I don't know where I stand on this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's it's a thing. Because, like, there are women who tried to be the next, you know, like, Victoria's Secret model that didn't get the job because somebody else was deemed way better looking in a bra, so... That's funny. And, and, and I'm just like, yeah, well, okay, well, that was like, a, you know, a job interview based on the merits of the job, and the job was to look hot in a bra, so maybe I don't know what the fuck I'm talking about, and I should just shut up. <laughs> no, I mean, like, that's just the analyzation of the... That's why I think everything's so fucked up and convoluted now, is because everybody, like, there's so much... There's so much further you can dive into a subject content, you know? Mm-hmm. And it's just... People have their views points on it and right and and mine literally just kind of changed in a second i was like well oh, well like how you, is that really to, any different you talked yourself out of you know your, a little bit your no conviction. but i still think that i still think that beauty pageants are fucking dumb especially <laughs> because we do it to like fucking kids like, like oh my god that's so gross to me well they oh, fucking frog sorry oh no it's <laughs> forgive my outburst <laughs> Yeah, like the like putting like a six year old through that, I just I hate it so much. It's so dumb. It's gross to me. Well, you also have to think this though too. Like, what does the kid want? Because, I mean, they watch Miss Texas and they want to be Miss Texas, you know, as as a six year old. And if they're coming to you and asking you like, I want to join a pageant, you know? Okay. Do you think that most of the time the kids are like, I want to be in a beauty pageant? Or do you think it's parents going, I want my adorable daughter to win money and prizes and fame? Like, I uh, think that there, it's a, a little column A, a little column B. I think it's a lot more of column B. I think it's a lot more like, this is what you're going to do. I, I don't well, care. Uh, no, I literally, I know this because like, I... For some reason, when I was young, my mom thought that I was just going to be a fucking meal ticket. Like, I took modeling classes and did... I'm in, like, uh, some, like, old, like, JCPenney flyers Dude, as a it fucking and model. Find it and post it. <laughs> there's... Oh, man, that would be so hard to do. I, I would have no idea where to even begin to look. But there's... Just I'm literally yourself. in, Google like, this, local... Yeah. I'm literally in, like, local, like... JC Penny flyers and shit like that and did like runway modeling and stuff for like cute little kids clothes and shit and like took acting classes and tap dance and like all this fucking shit that my mom was like I'm he's talented he's so smart Uh-oh. and personable like I'm gonna make him be oh my god <laughs> it's like I'm gonna make him be a fucking famous person like we're gonna get him into all these things that's why I know I think I feel like well that was quick <laughs> 
Yeah, that was. You, thank God, because she was beating the shit out of me. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I know where you're going um, with this. And yes, there are those moms out there that are like, but I also think every parent is like, I've got to get my child involved in something. You know what I mean? Like, whether it be baseball. My parents always signed me up for baseball. And, yeah, that's true. I got know. signed up for all that shit, too, though. Yeah. Like, I my mean, mom was literally like, he's talented, we can make him a movie star or something. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and, and I think all parents, like, it's good to cultivate that in your child, but the lengths at which some parents go to achieve right. that is a little ridiculous. And yeah. I think that's where you're trying to touch on that, that matter, you know? Like, did I not get a life health for beating fucking Medusa? I don't think he did. I don't think that was Medusa either. That thing had like an eel tail and like a blobby body. Does Medusa not have like... No, she's like a woman with like snake hair. No, she's like a snake woman with snake hair. Okay. There's different formats of Medusa. Alright, fair enough. (laughs) It was a Medusa-esque. Is that a Ninja Turtle? I think that was a Ninja Turtle. Anyway, we're <laughs> over our time limit, so next time on, yeah, late to the, the game. game. Yeah, we'll yeah. be right back. Goodbye, fuckers. <laughs> <laughs>